Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. I have got the most fantastic gift set here to open up for you today and to set up. This is the Calico Critters Luxury Town Home gift set, also known as the Sylvanian Families as well, depending upon which country you live in. And this is one of the most popular houses out of all of the sets. And you can certainly see why. It's just adorable. Its design is huge. It's hinged in the middle. This particular set, this gift set, comes with over 50 furniture pieces and accessories, plus two little bunny critters, the two little members of the Sweet Pea Rabbit family. So let's see what's inside. This is such a big set. So we've got the two parts of the house. Currently, they are not joined up. So we're going to have to do a bit of construction work here, I think. We'll take all the bits of cardboard off that are used in the packaging to make sure nothing swings open. Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. And here's the other side. And it is chock full of boxes, which are chock full of accessories. <laughs> this is very, very exciting. All right. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six boxes of accessories. And wow, look at this. Oh, and there are some nice big porch doors here to go out onto the porch or out onto the balcony. Now they are released and we can open them up. Now, how do we actually secure these two parts together? Well, I suppose the answer to that is going to be in these boxes somewhere. So <laughs> we're just going to have a look at it in isolation first. Oh, there's an enormous chimney with a battery pack down the bottom. Now that that battery pack is one of the reasons that this house is going to be my favorite because look at these switches inside. There are actually going to be working lights that you can turn on and off with switches when we get it set all up. So that is so exciting. But let's have a look at the two critters that come with it. These two little beautiful bunnies. Here's the mummy bunny. Now these are from the sweet pea family and this is mummy bunny Nikki who I also have as a nurse. So she is the nurse in Cloverleaf Corners and she's got the cutest little cotton tail here. She's such a lovely light latte brown, isn't she? She's just a gorgeous color. And if you haven't ever seen these critters before, they are articulated in their legs and in their arms and in the neck, which means that you can pose them, you can move them around, they can come and give their mummies kisses. <laughs> and here's the big sister bunny. This is Rebecca. Rebecca Sweet Pea Rabbit and she's wearing the same design dress as her mum except it's like a light apricot color rather than the pinky color. I'm just gonna see if I can get her little cotton tail to stick out of the dress because I just love it when it does that except now the dress doesn't do up very well. <laughs> oh well you can't have everything. So we've got these two critters who are going to move into the house. This is kind of just like a little taster. Oh, they're so gorgeous. A little taster of furniture and animals that you can put in the house. They're, by no means is the house going to be full by the time we have finished setting it up today. So staircase. Staircase has got some little uh, attachment thingies, but we'll play with it in a moment. And this interesting triangle piece. We'll look at that in a moment too. Oh, and a whole heap of banisters or railings depends what you call them but they are to stop people or critters little animals or little babies from falling over the edge on the second story and this big long rod thing looks as though it's the important piece that we've been looking for so we're going to use this to connect our two house pieces together so how are we going to do this well let's have a look <laughs> let's turn upside down and see so it should be pretty simple. We just need to put this in. It's a bit stuck. So that means we are not lined up super well. I don't want to force it in because it's just made out of plastic. We will break it. So let's just keep wriggling it a bit. Maybe if I open it up. Oh, there we go. Perfect. And now we just kind of slot it in down there. And now that looks really good. It's secure. The two house pieces have been secured together and that means you can pull them apart too if you want to. And this triangle piece has got some slots on the front so that we can put some banister pieces on it. So let's do that. And you can see where they fit because they have the notches, the right notches go into the right holes in the floor. There we go. And that's where it goes. So it sits up there and makes a bit of an extension balcony for a play area up the top. And we can attach the staircase to either of these. Well, we can attach it just about. We can attach it anywhere. Look at that. That's so cute. <laughs> we'll experiment with lots of different places to attach this staircase as we go around. In fact, we could put it over here. We can put it on two different sides because it's got two different ways it can be attached. 
or we can put it right here in the middle of our new little balcony piece and Rebecca can come straight down the stairs. Oh, and pick up our balcony piece that I left down there and put it back up. Safety first, except now she can't get back up on the balcony. So that's not a good spot, really. <laughs> okay, we're going to take that out for a little while. And we're going to put our other banister pieces on. So let's do that. Let's make this balcony out here nice and safe. So that nobody falls off, because that would be a tragedy. And this little one over on the end, and we'll just make sure they're all plugged in properly. There! Now you can run around and you're not going to fall off accidentally. That's so gorgeous. And once again, told you we were going to experiment with this staircase. We could put this facing either way up here so we can have a staircase off the balcony down to the ground. <laughs> this is so much fun. This is such a great little house. Okay, four big rooms and there are a couple of little slots in here too. And this here is kind of a wall partition, a swinging wall partition that I need to figure out how we put it in. So let's see, there's a hole at the top. We're going to slide it in. We're going to need to do a bit of... Oh, no, hold on, that's wrong. That needs to be behind everything. So let's try again. This bit takes a bit of power. There we go. So we can have it open like that and create another tiny little room oh, or we can have it closed and we can extend the room out oh that's really great that is really fun we can have so much fun with this oh look at that we could put the bathroom behind there it can be the little bathroom partition or a baby nursery oh i'm just so excited there are so many ideas all right let's open up the boxes though and see what else we need to put in oh okay so here we've got Look at that. Oh, it says Sylvanian families. <laughs> Even though this is supposed to be a Calico Critters set, they obviously stole it from the Sylvanian families side of the factory. <laughs> but Calico Critters and Sylvanian families are both exactly the same thing. They're just marketed under different names in different countries. So this is the little white upright piano, and this is just the perfect size for Rebecca to do her piano practice at. So she's going to sit down, and she can plink away here at the keys while we just move her over and we'll see what other furniture we've got to go in the town home from this gift set. <laughs> Let's see if I can get her to sit on there and not fall off. All right, what is in this box? It looks like a bed. It is. Now this bed, oh, look at that. That material there actually matches Rebecca's dress. It's exactly the same as her dress. But we're going to try out Mummy Rabbit because this is... This is a single bed that could fit either the big mummy or the little sister. And in here we've got a pink, oh, it's a little fluffy blanket. <laughs> we can tuck mummy rabbit in there. Oh, so snug and cozy. There we go. <laughs> it's not time to sleep though. So we'll put that over here and we'll sit mummy rabbit on here because Mothers need to take any opportunity they can to sit because there's not enough hours in the day to sit down. So we'll sit her down here comfortably on the bed while we see what's in the next box. <laughs> so exciting. Oh, could we put... Actually, I, I was thinking first up this was going to be a little sideboard for the kitchen, but it's not. It's actually a writing desk. And in here I can see a couple of little pencils, I think. Little coloured pencils. A tiny holder that we can put them in. So that's going to go on the desk. And two pencils that are guaranteed to get lost and vacuumed up at the first opportunity. So we're going to have to take very good care of them. A yellow pencil and a pink pencil. And they can go up here on the writing desk. And it's got two little drawers that we can store things in too. That might be a good place to actually put the pencils. <laughs> we will have to see. Next box! <laughs> oh, lots and lots of chairs. They're all stacked in so nicely together. So four chairs. Uh, so it's the dining table set or for the kitchen table. There, we can sit Mummy Rabbit here and... Sister Rabbit here, and there are chairs for more members of the family when we add them to our collection. 
this is exciting. <laughs> okay, we've got the kitchen table, we've got some few bedroom things. Now what do we, we got in this box? Oh, some more kitchen things. Lots of kitchen things. Oh, there are some tiny pieces in here. So a kitchen trolley on wheels, so we can wheel that out. It's like a breakfast trolley. Can put all of our breakfast goods on there. In fact, what have we got in this plastic bag? We've got some stickers for our jams and two little, oh, two little uh, towels or tea towel-y type things, display areas there that we can put on the breakfast trolley. Now let's see what's in this plastic bag. Oh, more good kitchen breakfast stuff. So a bread box, so we can put the bread in here if we have any. <laughs> and if not, we can just put whatever we like in there. I'm not gonna be limited just because it says bread on it. And a toaster with two little slots. We'll see whether we can use that in a moment. Hopefully we will have bread because we've got bread, a bread box and a toaster. So <laughs> I hope we've got something to put in one or the other of them. In here, we've got a tiny, a little pink carafe for keeping, for, for putting the coffee in once it's ready and to keep it warm. So a little jug. And here is our coffee dripolator. This is the only way Mummy Rabbit gets going in the mornings sometimes. She needs coffee before she can even think. So we've got a coffee dripolator, so that's very important in the kitchen. And what else have we got to put in this kitchen? It's a blender, look, there's a little blender stand. Here's our blender for making smoothies. And the lid. Oh, that's so cute. That's very, very small. And now we've got some pots and pans, it looks like. This one looks, these look electric. So this one is a rice cooker, I think. Looks like a rice cooker to me. And that's going to be very handy, not for breakfast. Oh, I suppose you can have rice for breakfast. Of course you can have rice for breakfast. And here we've got another little, little pan of some sort. It's a little flat one. Very useful. They're going to be very useful in the kitchen. Now we've got some of our other tiny pieces. Let's see if I can get them. I can't get these out. Let's see if I can get these out. Here we are, so two little jars, and this is where our stickers come into play because they are jam. So we need the strawberry one, I assume, for the pink jar. There we are, strawberry jam. And the one with the orange lid is orange marmalade. There, some breakfast spreads, yum! Perfect, we've got two jars. Now what else is in here? We might just tip it out and see what comes flying out everywhere. Here we go, here's some bread. Two teeny tiny skinny little pieces of toast or bread that we can use to toast. Let's see if they fit in the toaster. I'm so glad they do. Oh, there's something a bit squishy in the bottom of this toaster. I don't know if you can see, but there's actually a tiny bit of sponge in the bottom of both sides of the toaster. This is very sensible. So you can't push them in too far and when you do poke them, they kind of spring back like the toaster is putting the toast up because it's ready. That's a good design. And a basket to put maybe some of our crockery or our cutlery into. Two nice big glass tumblers. They're a decent size. That'll be good for when we make smoothies if I don't drop them on the floor and break them. I can't break them, they're really actually plastic. And two big mugs for coffee or hot chocolate or tea, it is all up to you. And we've got two partitioned plates here. Perfect, we've got just enough for the family we've got so far. Nothing to actually cook so far except for, uh, except for toast. And we've got a wooden spoon, which I'm gonna assume is very useful for the rice cooker because you don't wanna use a metal spoon in here because you would scratch the sides of the non-stick pan. <laughs> very important. What else do we have? We do have some cutlery. Here's some, just enough again for our two rabbits. Let's twist them all out of their packaging. And they've been all over the floor, so we're gonna have to wash them again. We've got two forks. Here's one, here's the other one. Two teeny tiny forks. <laughs> for two teeny tiny critters, we might put these 
into our wicker basket. There we are. And two teeny tiny spoons. And, oh, <laughs> and a little slicer kind, or a cake lift. So they are all going to be useful <laughs> when we actually get some food. <laughs> I wonder what's in this box. Let's see. We've got some things to put in the kitchen now though, so that's good. Oh, it's right at the back. It's not coming out. Come out. There we are. More things for the kitchen. Look at that. It is a cast iron stove. So it's got, got a place down here, an oven where we can bake things. And we've got the cook plates on the top, the hot plates. And we have got a nice big saucepan. Let's see if I can get it to come out. A nice big saucepan to go on those hot plates to cook our dinners, cook our breakfasts. At the moment, all we've got to cook is bread. So we're going to put, ah, that one's been on the floor. We're going to cook our bread in here and add maybe a bit of marmalade. Mmm, delicious. And some coffee. And that makes the perfect well-rounded meal for breakfast. <laughs> or maybe not. Okay, we've opened all the boxes. I only just found these. They weren't in the boxes. These are our lights, which we are going to put in the house. Oh, this is very, very exciting now. So let's clear all of our other pieces away. We've opened everything up. Let's start getting these into the house. But if we want to make them work, we actually need some power. So to make it work, we need to install the batteries, two AA batteries. And here we go, in the house. Oh, hold on, that was already turned on. Is that clicked in far enough? It is, look at that. So we've got switches on the walls, which I just love because the other lights that I've got have got the switches on the lights themselves. This is just so cool. The power is all contained in the house. Let's put in the downstairs. No, hold on, that doesn't work. I probably haven't pushed it in far enough. There we go. Look at that. That means that we can play too when it's dark. Let's see what it looks like when it's dark. Let's turn them both on. Oh. Oh my goodness, that looks so cozy. It's such a warm yellow light. Oh, I like that so much. <laughs> All right, let's see. There's also this enormous plate out the front here. It's an extension plate, so we're going to fit it into these notches. We can either have it as the brown, so we're extending the wood floor area. So we can take our play area out here and it also holds in the right position to put a little balcony on up there and it holds our stairs up at the right angle too. So they step right down onto there. That's perfect. And if we want it to be grassy, we can turn it over so they can go straight out onto a play area out in the backyard, which is actually kind of inside the house, which is also kind of cool. <laughs> All right, let's put in the pieces that we have. So we've got a little uh, a little oven and we've got our breakfast trolley all laden up with delicious, well, things to make things with, <laughs> nothing delicious to eat yet. <laughs> and we've got our kitchen table. So let's get all the chairs in there. So that's what we've got for the kitchen at the moment. We've got our bread box here and we've got, actually, we're going to need a sideboard in this kitchen to keep some of these things on. And a sink. We're going to need a sink to wash up, maybe even a fridge. We need a few more things for this kitchen. But this is what we've got for now. I am going to have to set this up again later, I think, with more pieces. Downstairs, all we've got for the living area is the piano. So we'll just put there in the moment. And upstairs, where are we going to set up the bedroom? I'm not certain... Let's try in here with the light. So we'll put the writing desk over here. It's kind of covering the window. And the bed, if I put the bed here, it's in the way of the door. So you'd have to climb over the bed to get in and out of the balcony, which isn't really... <laughs> you could do that, I suppose. I'm going to put them over here. <laughs> I'm going to put them in this little room. And that way maybe we could make a nursery right next to it. That would be cool. Oh, put the bathroom there. Gonna have to decide. Oh, hold on. Just drop that pencil. Oh, and I have no idea where the yellow pencil is. I'll look for it. I'll look for it in a minute. And we need to put our blanket on the bed so it's nice and snuggly. 
there and oh, we can just fit the chair in it's very very cozy at the moment <laughs> and we've got enough here to get us started and we can also if we want to play if we don't want to play within the house we can move some of the furniture out here and extend our play area there and it makes it easier than trying to get into the house we'll put the staircase um, uh, yeah like that for now that way we can access the living area underneath and let's see where is big sister rabbit would she like to come upstairs and just have a check out of her little room hello there she is through she goes I like that little extension that little triangle stop jumping on the bed <laughs> and now she's looking down at her mummy downstairs all right it's all looking a bit sparse at the moment we need more furniture and you know what I might wallpaper it would you like me to wallpaper it I think that would be really cool so make sure you leave a comment if you would like me to wallpaper it and I am going to set it up it will be so much fun to put all the furniture in and a whole family all set up ready to go but it is a fabulous little gift set to have to start up with your first house so so cool I hope you enjoyed seeing it now if you don't want to miss future videos do make sure you subscribe give me a thumbs up leave me a comment and I'm going to see you with a new video very, very soon.